It's a cooking show. A what? That's right. I like that. Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to a cooking show. And it's with Rachel. I live in a small LA apartment with a tiny yet wonderful kitchen. I love to cook and I love to eat. Cooking show with Rachel O. Hello, and welcome to Cooking Show with Rachel O. This week I'm making black bean and butternut squash chili. But first, let's see what's in the large Abundant Harvest Organics box. Mustard greens, spinach, apples, tangelos, mandarin oranges, potatoes, beets, broccoli, butternut squash, herbs de Provence, lettuce, carrots. That's what's in this week's Abundant Harvest Organics box. Let's make some chili. I have one butternut squash that I have cubed in, I don't know, half inch to an inch cubes. To the squash I'm going to add a teaspoon of olive oil, add a quarter teaspoon of salt, and some pepper. Give it a toss. Uh -huh. Onto the baking sheet. And these are going to go into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Make sure you check on them periodically. Make sure they don't burn. You might need to flip them and or rotate the pan part way through. The amount of time that they take to cook will depend on how large the cubes are. While the squash is cooking, cook up some bacon. I discarded the grease and wiped out the bacon pan, but I left all the crispy goodies at the bottom. I'm heating up that pan again, and to it I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. I'll let the butter and oil brown over medium heat for a few minutes. To the brown butter and oil, I'm going to add one shallot that I've chopped, two chopped carrots, a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, a little bit of cayenne pepper, not too much, a little bit of cumin, some pepper, and about a teaspoon of salt. Give this stir, and I'm going to put this covered for about 10 minutes over medium or medium low heat. My squash is ready. Stir occasionally. Add some garlic. Six cloves. Six cloves that I have diced. Cook this for about a minute and enjoy the smell. Then add half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, saving the other half for later, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Give it a stir and cook it for about three minutes. Cook it over medium low heat and stir occasionally. Add the remaining lemon juice, half a tablespoon, the cooked squash, two and a half cups of black beans, and two and a half cups of vegetable stock. Stir to combine. Return it to the stove and bring it to a boil. Then cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, turn the heat down to low and cook 10 minutes more. Gotta taste it. Check the seasoning and make sure the veggies are tender. If your carrots aren't quite tender, cook it for a few more minutes. I've got a little kick to it. Perfect. Time to dish up. Scoop of chili. Maybe two. A wedge of lemon to squeeze over top. A sprinkle of bacon. And some Parmesan cheese. Squeeze a lemon. And I think it's time for a taste. It looks really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good chili. Thanks for watching this week's feast. Do you show with Rachel O.